Hello everybody from Plant Reviews. Today is the 6th of April and I'm talking now about the uh, daffodil uh, krill or Narcissus krill. Uh, this uh, is a, a variety of uh, Jonquilla daffodil in the group 7. Uh, it is uh, of uh, medium size, is about I would say 50 centimeters tall with the flower stems well above the foliage, so very nice presentation. Uh, the razor of this uh, daffodil uh, is uh, run a scamp in England that is one of the most famous uh, daffodil hybridizers in England and uh, has an incredible website and actually I bought several daffodils including this one with this website. This variety has been registered in was registered in 2003. The seed parent is Dateline and the pollen parent is Narcissus jonquilla. Uh, the flowers are up to 7 cm, uh, mine are actually a little bit smaller, they're about 5.5-6 uh, cm uh, at the most, and uh, it is uh, golden yellow uh, with an orange cap, uh, a bit frilled I would say. Uh, the scent of this daffodil is uh, quite... Uh, Typical of many Jonquilla daffodils, so this kind of uh, peppermint uh, um, uh, liquorice scent, a bit pungent, not really one of my favorite uh, fragrances. Uh, definitely, I like this daffodil more for uh, the uh, color and for the flower than for the uh, fragrance. Uh, also, the fragrance is quite light, so really, uh, definitely one of the daffodils not recommended for a fragrant garden. But uh, if you like this color uh, and the presentation of the daffodil, I think it's very nice. So it is a, a pretty uh, good Jonquilla daffodil for presentation and uh, flower shape and uh, color. Uh, however, anyway, you find that many Jonquilla daffodils that are quite similar to this. So I don't find it uh, particularly attractive in my opinion. Anyway, obviously, this is just my personal preference. Uh, I like the color, obviously. I like this vivid yellow and this uh, orange cap. Uh, however, uh, there's uh, many Jonquilla daffodils very similar to this one that uh, anyway have a much better scent, so I definitely prefer the other ones. As usual for Jonquilla daffodils, uh, like all the other daffodils, the bulbs need to be planted in autumn, uh, about 10 cm deep and 10 cm apart, or a little bit more packed if they are in a pot, in a pot obviously remember to fertilize them appropriately because they don't have a lot of nutrients as instead they can find uh, in open ground. Uh, there is will start appearing between autumn and winter and this variety in particular will bloom uh, in early spring uh, then the, uh, after blooming the leaves will continue to be green for a few more weeks uh, dying down uh, in uh, late spring or early summer when the bulbs do go dormant until the following uh, autumn so in this season in summer they don't really need to be watered actually it's better not to water them and uh, as usual uh, that's one of the reasons they really need well drained soil because they are quite sensitive to rotting especially when they are in uh, dormancy also daffodils uh, most daffodils actually all daffodils i know they do a lot better in uh, full sun than in uh, partial shade and definitely these are not uh, plants that like shady areas um, as usual, I hope that you enjoyed this short video, it was a very short review. Uh, if you like this video and the other videos of my channel, it would be great if you can please subscribe, it's completely free for you, but in this way uh, YouTube gets a knowledge that you uh, and other people like my videos and in turn can promote uh, uh, my channel on the YouTube platform and making it grow. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!